So for this video, how to get to the Red Cliffs, so here we have a map of Melbourne, you need to go down to Werribee. And you can see there's the Open Range Zoo, so we zoom in, and it is just south of the Open Range Zoo. Got the Werribee Golf Club, which is north, and here we have the Red Cliff Lookout. So that's where you need to go. And as you can see, it's easily accessible and you can walk all the way down around the river. Uh, don't go into the farmlands because there's private property and you can be prosperous. Okay. Maybe. Is it okay to walk down there? The Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Sure. It's not hard to get down there. It's not really hard to get down <laughs> Look, some shellfish. Someone's been fishing. I mean, this is salt water. Gonna drink it. Find out. Yeah, I have a feeling that it is based on the shellfish. They could have been just used that for me. So here we have, what do we have here? We have a oxbow lake over that side. So this side is getting deposited by the river. And this side is getting eroded. So there is a cliff face over there. Oh, someone walk up. <laughs> okay, so this is the cliff face. This is called. What's this deposit called? Oh, it doesn't have quite a name, it's just called the Rick Cliff Face. So it's a sandstone. You can see the deposit here. It's all pretty much mostly loess, so clay and silt, with some sandstone, and it has fossils in it. So here we have the start of the deposit. And as you can see, it's pretty eroded. And this is the actual yeah, it's actually quite hard. So in the geological maps, it says that this is a coastal swamp deposit, fine sand, silt, silty clay, often with shell beds. So that means it has fossils. And the age is uh, recent, 10,000 years or less. So this is the actual deposit here, beautiful, and, and this is pretty fertile, so if you go up that way, just above, yeah, it's all farmland, and as you can see, it doesn't need to be eroded that much because it's not consolidated. So that means it's very soft, 
So when I mean it's not consolidated, I mean it's not in a hard matrix like you'd usually find a sandstone or a mudstone. Especially from the Silurian, which is a deposit you find more inland. But this, you know, I can break it apart with my fingers. So this is a loess. And as it's been deposited, 10,000 years or less, uh, any of the fossils that you find in this uh, will most likely still occur in this area. So this is ah, red sandstone. Looks beautiful. What a nice deposit. And as you can see, this is the water flowing down. And it's cracking because it's drying, so it's shrinking. Uh, and this is where it just breaks off. So if you're ever in Werribee, you should come down here. It's quite a nice place. It's a lot better than what you see on the Google Maps. Okay, and this is the cliff face itself. And another thing you have to remember is that this is unstable so just be careful because you can fall down at any moment especially like this area here uh, gravity is pulling down on that area so that could just fall at any time and you can see the erosional feature here with the tree roots so the tree roots grew when there was a cliff face there into the soil so the cliff face would have been probably out there somewhere and over time it has eroded around the roots so the roots are still in the place in situ but the soil's just been taken away they look like yellow gum or maybe yellow box and they don't look too old probably 50 years so yeah based on how thick those trees are yeah so this is less than 50 years of erosion and if you can see here uh, this one has large quartz bevels large grains of quartz so here's so here's the uh So this would be a probably a sandstony grit. You can see how thick the actual rocks are. Still easy to you know, break apart. And up there we have some yeah, got a quartz, a lot of sand up there. Quite nice. So I haven't found it. Here you go. A lot of quartz here. So this would have probably come from the Silurian deposits. Uh, probably also the volcanic deposits that are around here. Beautiful. And this is basically the end. So. This is the turn in the river, so all this side has been eroded. All this side has been deposited, that's why it's quite low. You can see, uh, so over that way you've got the level of the ground, that is as high as the cliffs. So over that way. Uh, so all this has been eroded before and it's been deposited. See so this box looks by lakes, and it looks like that part over there where the former mouth of the river was and it's been filled in so all this will probably be built up eventually 
as this gets more into a neck, uh, this will probably be re eroded. And you can see that tree there. And it's going to fall down probably in a few years' time as erosion keeps taking that soil. And this goes all the way around. And that finishes somewhere over near the house. And if we turn around this side, it keeps going around down the river. Okay, so here we have some quartz. So as these are lower in the formation, this would have been deposited at an earlier time compared to the formation. So as you can see, it's quite quite large. So the water movement here would have been quite fast to deposit all this. And it looks like this is sandstone with our quartz so, and some upper rocks as well. So. So this is silt, and given enough time, this would have turned into siltstone. But obviously, that time has run out and slowly been eroded. Of course, there's no more depositional going, deposition going in. <coughs> so probably the farmland is not being eroded or deposited. Oh, nice. happening he you won't go for swim okay he wants to throw you in the river okay from here push 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 <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that you just want to go back up or yes explain what <laughs> how is it led when does it led no, this is made by the river. Uh, I think they say this is like 10,000 years or less. 10,000? Yeah, not that old. So this is like uh, a siltstone. Do you want a drink? 
This looks like salt water, look at all the moss, uh, not, not clams, yeah they're clams, what are they? Oh. Salt water clams anyway. So you can see the differential in the elevation of the actual